in rebounding, you want to have the inside position, the position that is closest to the basket. If I'm playing my man as a defensive player in good defensive position, and an offensive man is here, when the shot is taken and he goes to the basket, he can either go over the top or to the baseline. If he goes over the top, I'm going to use an inside pivot so I can follow the flight of the ball all the way to the basket. I get my hands up, I get my butt into his legs, I get down low, and I continue to box him out. If he wants to go to the baseline, I use a reverse pivot. Again, so I can follow the flight of the ball all the way to the basket, get my butt into his legs, get my hands up. Okay? As an offensive player, the whole rule changes. You are on the outside now. How do you get that inside position? If Michael Cooper will come in here and help me out, I'll show you how I do it, and it's very successful for me in the NBA. As an offensive player, if he turns while I go to the basket and does not make contact with me, if he just hopes that I run into his back, all I'm going to do is pretend like he's not even there and just run right around him and get an in inside position. It happens all the time. Don't help him out by running into his back. Now Michael Cooper is a smart player. As I go to the basket, he turns, he initiates the contact and gets me on his back. He's down low and his hands are up. There's two moves that I use to get the inside position. One is simply a spin move. All I'm going to do is throw my shoulder into his shoulder and spin off of him. As he's boxing me out, I'm going to hit him with my shoulder and roll off of him and continue to go to the basket. It works both ways. If I decide to go to the baseline, he uses a reverse pivot. I'm just going to throw my shoulder into his shoulder, roll off of him, and go get the rebound. The other way that I use, probably more than not, and is very effective for me, if he comes out and boxes me out, what I want to do is take my elbow and lock his elbow. And what I'm going to do is throw it out of the way. I'm going to throw it back. His momentum is going away from the basket, and I step my leg through at the same time. I step through. I am now on the inside position, and I go get the rebound. I have the privilege to introduce the MVP of the 1988 NBA Championship Playoffs to help me with this next drill, James Worthy. I'm first going to talk about the proper technique in boxing out. What you want to do is, if James is the man that you're trying to box out, I want to get my butt into his thighs. So I want to get down low. I want to get down in here and I want to get my hands up. Your hands are up for quick rebounds and they also act as feelers so that if James is coming around the side, I can feel him and move my feet accordingly. Okay? If a shot is taken from the top of the key, and I'm playing good defense on James Worthy, he's got two ways that he can go to the basket. He can go to the baseline, or he can go over the top. If he chooses to go over the top, what I want to do, when he moves, I want to use an inside pivot. I want to use an inside pivot so that I can follow the flight of the ball all the way to the basket. I'm going to get my butt into his thighs and get my hands up. When he continues to move over the top, I'm going to slide with him until the ball hits the rim. When James Worthy decides to go to the baseline, I'm going to use a reverse pivot for the same reason. Again, I can follow the flight of the ball all the way to the basket. I'm going to get my butt into his thighs and get my hands up and continue to box him out all the way to the baseline. It is very, very important when you box out that you make the contact with the man. When he makes a move over the top or to the baseline, I want to be the first one to hit him. If I wait for him to hit me, he's just going to run around me. I want to stop his forward momentum to the basket by hitting him and continue to box him out as he decides to go over the top. At that point, the most important thing in rebounding is to go after the basketball.